Welcome to the Far Cry Primal Platinum. Why Primal? Well, after the release of Far Cry 6 and 3 on the channel, I thought Far Cry was done for a while, until I saw the number of comments saying how underrated Primal was. Alright, alright, fine, one more Far Cry before I move on. This game has 51 trophies, including the Platinum, and other than the story, it's basically just complete the map in its entirety. With the normal collectibles, outposts, and bonfires, it's classic Far Cry fashion trophies. Get a number of kills on enemies using all the different weapons, and of course a few challenging ones, but we'll get to those later. Just remember to like and subscribe to the channel guys, it helps a bunch, as we go from guns and ammo to sticks and stones. Far Cry Primal is set 10,000 BC in the land of Oros, after the end of the last ice age. It follows the character of Taka, a hunter of the Wenger tribe. The story on this game isn't long, nor is it overly brilliant for me. Personally, what makes this game fun is the gameplay. Stabbing other tribes with a spear or taming a giant pet saber tooth. If that doesn't take your fancy, you can always throw a pot of bees at somebody. Now I've actually got the first trophy of this game from when I played it in 2016 for about 10 minutes. You get it for just finishing the first 5 minutes of this mammoth hunt mission. At the end you get attacked by a saber tooth, lose your friend in a fatal rockfall, then you learn how to craft a bow and claim a campfire. Then the story of Primal really begins. At the start of our journey, we get the vision of beasts. There are three visions throughout the game, ice and then fire. The main plot of the story at this point is just to recruit more people for your little village. And we do that by killing the Udam, one of the two tribes in the game that you rival against. We also have an ability to tame beasts. Leads to several trophies in this game and you get an abundance of different animals. Wolves, dolls, bears, saber tooths, you name it, it's there. Spiritual advisor. Hensei joins the Wenger village. As I said before, story missions mainly get you access to other tribes people to join your village, increasing stats and resources when you upgrade the huts. Across the world you also get different kinds of collectibles, cave paintings, bracelets, but most importantly the Daisha skulls, which we get here. The Daisha head, there's one collectible. A lot to get. These cave paintings, lots more to get. Okay, first things first, we upgrade my little area, Takar's cave. Home improvement trophy, build or upgrade any two village huts. Our village gets attacked as part of a story mission, giving me my first proper fight repelling the Udan. Get out of here. Get out of here. You want to throw? I'll throw. How'd you like that? All on. Come on. There's no such thing as stealth here. No such thing as stealth. What? Eat it. Got some clubbing to do. And he's clubbed to death. Spearproof trophy repel the Udom attack. As all Far Cry games have a fast travel point, this game's is the bonfires. We then pick up a trophy for getting a population of 20 into the village. I think I get a trophy for killing a tamed beast and then skinning it. I'm so sorry, just jamming my spear in your side doll. We're sorry. So if I skin the doll now. Tears of shame. Trophy, kill and skin one tame beast. Kill and skin. We're sorry. I'm so sorry. Grey Huntress. Jaima joins the Wenya village. Wenya village? I'm just gonna butcher it every time. On the hunt completed. Woohoo! Oh, map maker. Discover 15 hidden locations. Just to show you what kind of people we're recruiting and upgrading huts for in the village, we have this guy here. Another story quest, and he starts the day by pissing on you. Oh, he's pissing on me. <laughs> but, Mr. Fix It, Woga joins the Wenger village. Ow. Beat the club. Oh. Aim. Okay, okay. Jesus Christ. Oh, menagerie. Aim seven beast. Rare black lion tamed. Oh, and fancy friend. The tame one rare beast. The next one to join us is Karush. He loves fighting, headbutting you, and fighting. And we have a great little fight here against the Udam Warriors. Oh, a headshot from behind. D. 
dead eye. Tarush joins the Wenya village. Wenya, Wenja. I will never get it. We started off with the vision of beasts, and now we're onto vision of ice. Give me a spiky club and some enemies, and here we go. Jesus. In Neanderthals with a club from the Greek gods. Oosh. Great. Really good. After that, we get three trophies. One for getting 50 kills with our tame beast. The second for crafting 100 items in our craft wheel for armorer. And the third for healing our pet 25 times using meat. Stealth bow action here. Oh, this is just beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. Sharpshooter trophy. Sharpshooter trophy. Eliminate 100 enemies using the bow. I got it. All right, let's get clubbing. So if you're not aware, you can actually ride mammoths in this game. You can ride a number of animals, brown bears and saber tooths included, which will help for a trophy later on. But at the moment, it gives us a nice little start to the water. Hey, trophy, 12 labors. Complete any 12 specialist missions. Oh, bullseye, trophy, killer target 70 feet away from all using an arrow. Got it. Woohoo! Once we get to the end of a story arc, we fight the boss of the Udam, Dar. Dar was really strong and powerful, but no match for the spears. Oh, is that. Is this dude? This is the captain's guy. He's just poisoning me. Oh my god, there's so many guys. Come on. Ow. Oh, I got the trophy. Peace. <laughs> Eliminate 10 enemies using stink bombs. No, not the beast! Not the beast! Ah! Once we defeat Dar, we actually take him back to the camp and recruit him. Dar teaches us how to craft that horrible poison, the berserk bomb. We're now facing our second tribe of the game, the Izila, who use fire to destroy their enemies. We rescue a few of our tribesmen from one of their bases and pop a new trophy. Oh, and trophy, Liberator, rescue a Wenja captive from the Izila. Woo! Oh! Right on target, kill a target. Yes, I got it. Kill a target 50 feet away using a spear. Oh, yes. Oh, takedown there. Killer's belief trophy. Eliminate 25 enemies using any takedown. Another trophy in the bank. Oh, skewered. Skewered. Eliminate 100 enemies with a spear. Got that one as well. Eat it. Eat the pain. Eat the pain. Eat the pain. Eat it. The pain is yours. Much like the Udams, at the end of the Azilas, we go to their final four and face off against the leader. And exactly the same way we recruit Dar for the Berserk Bombs, we recruit the Azila leader for the Fire Bombs. Oh, headshot David and Goliath. <laughs> Eliminate 10 enemies using a sling. Done it. Oh, that was beautiful. Bad trip. Influence 25 enemies using poison. That was with the poison shard instead of the bombs. Vision of beast completed. Vision of ice completed. Vision of fire to go. Third and final one to complete the third section of the game. There you go. Was... Yeah, gotcha. Trophy for the traps. Eliminate 10 enemies using traps. It's a trap! Even though we captured the leader of the Azilas, it's not actually the real leader. The warlord itself, they all celebrate this mask of Azila, and one of the story missions is to go and claim it. Capture it and pretend you're a god to infiltrate their lair. We sprint for our lives to try and escape the tomb of Prati here. Gives us an amazing gold trophy and sets us up for one of the final challenges and levels of the game, where you have to defeat essentially the warlord. There's one of the Udam and one of the Azila. 
crafty, crafty, crafty. Steal the Iz Izilla mask from the crafty. Of crafty. I can't say that. The mask of crafty. Done. Woo! So another two quick trophies we managed to get is using the Owl Scout, which can attack enemies to kill 15 of them. And earlier when we were riding the Mammoth, we managed to get onto a bear this time and get our 25th kill on a mounted animal. Lab, lab, and stay down! Eliminate 100 enemies using the club. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going, love? Eat fire. You eat fire. Everybody eat fire. Inflammable trophy. There it is. Eliminate 50 enemies with fire. Suck it. The last two main story missions are about taking out the heads of the Udam and Izila. The hunt for all is the Udam leader and he's the first one we've got to kill. He is very hot. Hit him from behind. Use the beast. That's it, that's it, we're getting him, we're getting him, we're getting him, we're getting him. Come on, yeah, I don't care, poison me, go for it. Okay, he's killed my beast again. Come on, mate, spear in the face. Spear in the face. Spear in the face. Come on, come on. It's like a thousand attacks to knock down 1%. Come on! Come on! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, that was so difficult. Evolution in action. Complete the mission, the hunt for all. Once you've defeated all, we head off to the top honcho of the Zila tribe. This is Batari. You used the mask you stole earlier to make everyone think you're a god. Batari doesn't fall for it and she ends up just shooting you with a bow from across his fiery pit. To be honest with you, it's a pretty unfun fight. She calls in waves of enemies and seems to take damage while you're killing the enemies, and that kind of surprised me a little bit. It's probably the most boring fight in the game, in all honesty, but the death scene, one of the best. Throw in! Throw in! Oh my god. Pretty vicious. Get your hand out. Two Ash. Trophy unlocked. Complete the mission, the fall of Bakari. As the story missions were now complete, we start the post game, which isn't really a post game in Primal. It's all weirdly connected as one, which include the saber tooth, the white wolf, the scar bear, and the mammoth. In between that, we do capture 10 outposts and upgrade all of our huts. Cue the trophies. But I've got to do a bear, a wolf, a saber tooth, and a mammoth. So I reckon the mammoth's going to be the hard one. The rest are like, I should deal with. Yeah, that's it. Burn. I want to watch you burn. Oh, yeah, I got to tame it. <laughs> I don't get it, I tame it. I forgot about that. Hey, here, kitty. Woo! Tame the blood fang saber tooth. Now he's mine. Sorry about all the stuff I just said. And tame. Oh, thank God for that. That wolf was good. I mean, I'm never going to use it. Good boy. Aim the Snowblood Wolf. About time. Nearly missed this one as well. Capture 10 outposts. I thought it was capture all outposts, so I wasn't recording. Now I have to record. So we should be getting the trophy here for completing the upgrade on all huts. Last one is Wogas. Real Estate Baron. Silver trophy. Complete all hut upgrades. Took a while just to get all the gathering items, but... It's an easy trophy, I guess. So after getting all the hut upgrades, we do get the trophy Big Teddy for taming the Great Scar Bear. We move on to actually killing the Blood Tusk Mammoth. And the gold trophy of expansion for capturing all outposts. 15 of 15. So inside this cave should be the Blood Dragon Easter Egg and you get a trophy for it. Mark for Wenger. Discover the future past. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. Discover the future past. One of the dragons from Blood Dragon, basically. Awesome.
The next trophy is we have to jump off that point right there. So I will see you when I reach the top. Okay, we've reached the top. I mean, look at this view you get at the top. Pretty insane, the world they've built here. But it's, uh, it's an Assassin's Creed trophy, this, being Ubisoft, and you just got to jump into that pool. So we're going to jump. And hopefully, there it is, Candor of Faith. <laughs> I missed the pole. <laughs> That's amazing. But you don't even have to land in the pool, you just have to jump off. That even I made it better. That's so anticlimactic. <laughs> On the map, there are orange side quests. They are help wenger quests, beast kill quests, and tribal clash quests. We must complete a certain amount of each of them to get three trophies. Okay, let me, okay, let me. Ooh, good neighbor trophy. Complete 15 help wenger quests. Did not expect to get it there. I thought I'd have to do way more. Is that 8 out of 8? That's all of them. Master tracker trophy. I knew I'd get it. Complete 5 beast kill quests. Woohoohoo! Oh, crush your enemies. Complete 10 tribal clash quests. Woohoo! All of the clash quests done. Collectibles and skill moves to go. We just get the pick up 80 collectibles trophy as well. 80 of these bad boys all across the map. Didn't think I was going to get it at that point, but we did. So 80 recordings. We only need one trophy now for the platinum. And that is to get all of the skill points. Four skill points for that one, for example. That's three more levels just for one point. It's going to be a little bit of a grind. Okay, and for the final trophy of the game is to unlock all skill points. Now, just a note. This took me four hours of grinding after I thought I'd it'd take me 10 minutes. This has been tedious. It has made a very decent game very annoying. It has put a little bit of sour taste in my mouth and I'm so tired of getting this trophy. Expert Wenger trophy unlocked, which gives us Apex Predator, the platinum trophy, obtain all trophies. I am so done with this game. Thank God. <laughs> if you did enjoy this video, guys, please make sure to check out the two videos on screen now. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.